Hi everybody. Hello everyone. Looks pretty good. Hope you guys can hear me. Hi, Vandana. And Moose Crazy, and Doris, and Cheryl, and Paula. I see you made it. Nice to see you here. Hi, Sharon Mansfield, Elizabeth, and D&D Art Gallery, Jan, and Lori. This stool, I swear. I'm gonna have to get a new stool soon. This one is on its last leg. I'm scared I'll be sitting here one day and it's just gonna kinda, you know, I don't know, fall down or something. Hi Fiona, Peggy, nice to see you here. And Anne, glad you can make it. Hi Patricia, hi Deb, thanks for coming you guys, Peppermint Paints, oh I hope you guys had a good weekend, wait, it's not your weekend, it's coming up on the weekend, see I, uh, I'm like the opposite of the rest of the world, <laughs> I usually get a day off at like, I don't know, Thursday or something, so thank you to my patron, uh, Monica P, I appreciate you very much for your donation this week. And the super chat superstars from last week, those are the people that donated last week and help during, or actually I'm not sure if we had any, did we have super chats last week? I don't remember. But I appreciate each and every one of you for coming, donating to my channel, um, either by PayPal or super chats. It's awesome and it keeps me bringing art videos to you. So thank you for your support. Um, Elizabeth, <laughs> you love my new ink painting. You're talking about, are you talking about these? These ones? So this particular painting I want to mention, I want to make sure I don't get it dirty because it's up for auction and Tish the Artist Haven is having an auction for a very special cause and this piece is going up for auction so I hope that you guys join. Um, Cheryl is going to post the information on how to join Tish's auction and there will be some artists giving away some beautiful um, donations for a, a great cause. I think it's suicide prevention. So, um, Carapalooza, it's called, it's 7 p.m. Central Time, and it's a fundraiser to support the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. So, that's close to my heart, too, and I really wanted to make a donation. Um, so, I hope that you join Tish, the Artist Haven, and all the artists that will be there. The second thing is, I was hoping that heartfelt artistry Lam would be here but she is not yet um hi carrie and brian nice to see you so this week uh first of all doris with df designs she sent me i wanted to say thank you she sent me this beautiful little painting this is a balloon roll painting that she did the finish is really pretty on it very glossy and smooth and this was her um, successful balloon roll painting and I wanted to say thank you on camera. If you haven't seen um, Doris at DF Designs, she's here in the chat with us right now. So you should um, go visit her channel if you haven't yet. This is a really pretty little painting. She has her Doris Ford on the back. And then she sent me one of these um, well, two actually of these little cups that Fiona Fiona uses Fiona Art. Um, 
and you can't get them in America, so it's pretty exciting to have these little cups here. I want to try one of those, um, and hopefully her and I will get to do it together, or um, maybe I'll do one today. I haven't quite decided yet, but thank you, Doris at DF Designs, and her link is in my description box if you want to visit her channel. Uh, one thing I wanted to say is another artist I want to put a word in for today <laughs> is, I'm always saying something about her, so this is like nothing new, but Lom with Heartfelt Artistry. I don't, I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but she does felting. I don't know if you've ever seen, um, she does, it's called felting, it's an art form. And she uses wool, and she makes these amazing, look at that purse. Um, so look at how gorgeous this is. It's just wool, it's really beautiful, and there's a shimmer to it. Yeah, isn't that pretty? And this is the other side. A little more simple. Isn't that gorgeous? She has um, a shop and if you go, I've also left her information in the channel, in my channel link, um, a link in my description box if you want to go check out her beautiful, I think she does have some scarves left. She just put up a shop and uh, she does have a few things left and this is a beautiful purse with a, um, a zipper. I can't wait to use this because my purse is Seen better days, if you know what I'm saying. So very exciting, and I just wanted to say how beautiful and lovely that is. And hi Sarah, nice to see you here. And Kristen. So, um, what next? Oh, you guys, please tomorrow. I'm asking you, please to come support my uh, collaboration tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. I'll probably mention it again, but right now I'm gonna show you a preview. I worked so hard on this painting. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna show you the painting now. AB Creative, I'm doing a collaboration with AB Creative. If you haven't seen her channel yet, um, you're missing out. She's just like blowing up the fluid art scene. She has like 58,000 followers or something and she only has like 12 or 24 videos. I don't know, but she's, um, you know, just like I said, she's just on fire right now. So you got to watch her. And uh, yeah, there is a collaboration notification. Um, the paint, so what she's going to do is she's doing my balloon rolls. <laughs> And I'm doing a technique of hers and also putting my own spin on it because you know how I am. And this is a technique I've never done on camera before. And I'm just going to give you a little preview of the painting. Just a little preview. It is so, 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 so pretty. I'm not going to even show you the whole thing because I want you to be excited tomorrow to see the whole thing. And and um, I just can't tell you how hard I worked on that painting. So I'm really excited to show you. Um, there she is, AB Creative in the house. Tomorrow morning, um, it's launching on my channel at, I believe, 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. And uh, and then on her channel, AB Creative Official, I think it is. It was a fun collaboration and probably one of the hardest for me, if you can believe it. I, I really struggled. <laughs> I, I did. I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes you just... But I, I was excited to do it, and um, I just couldn't, couldn't wait. So, um, Lom, did you finally show up? Yes, she did. So I just showed your purse off, Lom, to everyone. But for those of you maybe who are just joining, and now that Lom is here, can I please just say how gorgeous is this? And 
how beautiful. Lum, if you have a link to your actual um, store, I don't know. But if you do, you should leave it in the description box, if, you know, or leave it in the uh, chat box. This is so, so pretty. I love it. It's beautiful. And I think it's going to wear well, too. I, I can't wait to use it. And like I said, mine is in a, a terrible state of disrepair. My purse is horrible right now. Hi, Sherry. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you really quick how I mix my paints today. They're very thin. I literally just, this is just Floetrol. I used mostly uh, golden fluids today. Yeah, felted art, isn't that crazy? This is a nickel azo gold. Probably my very, one of my top three colors by golden. I love so much. And then, oh gosh, yes, I need to, a... hi Chelsea, it's nice to see you. Really, really nice to see you. Oh. Okay, so this is really all I did for my paints today. I'm... I'm going to work with some high flow paints and also, like I said, I'm considering doing one of these little cups that uh, Doris sent me, these little flower cups. Uh, I hope I inspire you. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, I feel like, oh gosh. I think you guys inspire me, because I'm telling you, with the way my life is right now, I work so much that, um, I don't know, sometimes I just feel like I don't have time to paint, and if it wasn't for for this, I, I wouldn't even be hardly painting right now. Hi, Susie! Aww. That's it, you guys. This is how I mix my paints today. Literally, that's how easy it is with those golden fluids, too. And then, um, here's the other thing. The fluids, I just want to make sure you guys understand the difference. So this is the fluid, the golden fluid. And today, I'm going to be working with um, the high flows, a lot of the high flows. I think I'm going to try to bring you in a little bit closer because most of my painting I think most of my canvases are really small today um but ah a fearless painting it's always good to do a fearless one <laughs> um so you know this is like opaque or transparent you're asking you know each paint has a different um transparency and it's listed on the back here um, and the high flow set that that Lom is talking about. So this is the high flow copper, and this is a fluid acrylic. So they're different. Today I'm working with a lot of the high flows, um, but I just wanted to show you I mixed some fluid acrylics as well, just so I would have some base colors to work with. But Lom's asking if um, I'm using the opaque or transparent. Um, high flow set and there's two that you can buy the high flow set that's transparent it's marked transparent right here right on the top and um, you want to shake it until you hear that little ball see that's transparent and um, and then the ones that are opaque like this you you don't see that transparent uh, symbol up there and these are opaque and you can buy them two different sets um, it's been so long since I use them I can't remember which one creates the best like dendrites or whatever Lom do you remember was it the high f was it the transparent ones or the opaque ones I don't know we could do some testing I 
think it's the transparent, maybe. Because all the transparent bottles are lighter in here, like, <laughs> meaning I must have used more of them. Hi, Winnie. All right, so let's play around. Uh, this is the gold high flow. And this is the Alessandra Copper. And then this is the Pearl. I bought this a year ago, and I still, I use it all the time. And I still probably have like a third left. So even though they're really expensive, they just go really, really, really far. Um, and I think, um, I think before we do too much, I just want to try, like, I'm excited actually to try one of these, uh, little cups. So, boy, I wish I could get, I need to get that off of there. It's just stuck on, and I know it makes it unlevel. Um, but I want to try one of these little cups that Dora sent me. So, let's just play around with the little canvas. This is nothing um, serious today, people. I am not interested in doing anything that's too serious because I need chill out mode. I'm in chill out mode today. Hi, Linda. Sorry, I'm shaking the whole camera there. So this is, I gotta make sure that this paint is not too thick. I might have to add some water to this. <laughs> Jan, yeah, chill mode, man. I, I'm having a hard day, like, I don't know. It just seems like a hard life lately, but still blessed, you know, and I keep thinking that every single day I wake up and I'm like, wow, I'm still really blessed, and a lot of stuff really sucks right now. <laughs> it is, ah, it's a, just a challenge, so I don't know, I, I don't know what I would do without art, without the support of my people, this would be just terrible. I think art has really saved me this whole last year. Okay. I think this needs a little tiny bit of water, unfortunately. So I'm going to just put it in here. I have no idea why blue is coming out of here. I have, like, literally no idea. But that appears to be something that's happening. But we're just going to go with it, because that's what happens in chill-out mode. You just do it. Yep, art keeps our sanity, doesn't it? What would we do without it? I don't know, this isn't a strange paint. I don't know. I'll go with it. Let's see what happens. Oh, maybe that was the problem right there. Tara, why? Uh, don't be bummed. I'm glad you're here. What's on time, anyway, really? Like, it takes me forever to go through my stuff and <laughs> and then paint and talk. And sometimes I, I look up, I'm like, wow, I've been talking for 40 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. There's no late, if, just come, even if you're, for those of you who are watching after the fact, that's okay too, like what's wrong with that? Watch it at your leisure, you know? The party is just starting as Chelsea said, that's right. See there's a lot of, there's some little bits of blue paint in here, but I think it's going to be fine, 
Like, we're, like I said, we're just gonna go with, we're gonna go with it and see what happens. Hi, Janelle. Yeah, I think I'm, I won't use the high flow in this little, um, this first one, but I'm going to use it right after this painting. I just want to see how this painting goes. Now, for those of you who have watched Fiona, you all know that she is quite a uh, calculated, her flowers are very calculated and precise. There's a lot of precision involved. And for those of you who know me <laughs> very well, I am more like a fly by the seat of your pants kind of person. So I really may never ever be able to make uh, one of these flowers in the same way that Fiona does because I probably will never ever ever do all the little stuff that makes it happen. Like this, I think there's a, a method to making the paint perfect and and then it's all even and then the flower is all even and then, you know, like all that. I think I will probably never ever do it so it will not ever work out like it's supposed to. But it'll work out like mine. <laughs> this is pearl. This is like a, a really thin pearl white. I didn't have any white made up, so this is what we're doing. Thank you, Lum. Yeah, Fiona. But her flowers are just, like, stunning. I mean, aw, Tara, you're so nice. <laughs> Jan, that's the serendipity of the art form. Aren't you right? And that's in, that's in your name, so how can you be wrong? I think that is, you know, isn't that the thing about art? That is one thing I would tell any newbie. And I heard people telling me this when I first started, and I kind of just didn't believe them. But Lam and I have talked about this a lot. We all have like art that we like and appreciate, maybe that we would even buy or hang on our wall, but that may not be the art that we can actually do. And I think it's a really interesting concept if you think about it like that, because I think I was always, even when I was doing art when I was younger, trying to do the art that I liked instead of accepting the art that I could do and um, the reality is like I'm not a really super detailed painter I, I you know I at least right now I'm not I like doing abstracts and um, so once I kind of accepted that that was me I got a lot better about it Yeah, what Lam said, we're attracted to art that we can't actually create. <laughs> right, because and then if we could create it, why, you know, we should, we should just go do it and not want someone else's. Okay, this is smooth. This is good enough. This is good enough, I think. Hi, Coco. Carrie, isn't that funny how abstract art, like, it grows on you, and now I find myself seeking out abstracts, um, you know, and I see them in a different way because my, I feel like my, I, I've grown. My vision is, it's like your, you know, your art palette or whatever. Like your food palette grows, and when you're a kid, you like, <laughs> I mean, I'm a chef. I, I've known kids. I went to families that will literally their kid is only eating like mac and cheese and chicken nuggets and stuff and they will not eat. And then <clears throat> you grow up and you learn to sometimes you love vegetables. I mean, I, I'm making broad, broad generalizations here, of course, but 
you know, us usually our palette kind of grows over time. And I think that happens uh, with our art too, as we learn more and... Okay, so let me move these out of the way. Yeah, Laura, I think watercolor is so hard. I I try it and I feel like I just, I don't know, miserably fail, but I keep trying. <laughs> so the colors I mixed up today were a lot of primary colors, um, blue and red and yellow. And I don't know why. It's very strange for me to mix up that batch, but... I think we should just go with it and see what happens. Um, but I guess I was in a primary color mood. That's not ever how I feel, but I'm just going to go with it today. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I love this color. It's so pretty. Look at that. That's the jacquard. AB Creative, thank you for coming 1.30 in the morning for her, you guys, and she still came to say hello. So don't forget to watch our collab tomorrow. I can't wait to show you the beautiful painting that both of us created. I can't wait to see how her balloon rolls turned out. It's very exciting. This is just like a little tiny bit of regular white. One thing I did notice is this bottom is much, much, much smaller than most of the ones that I've used. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I hope I get more of a delicate flower. Um, well, see, like that is that's all me right there. You already know. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. Yeah, the plastic thing is um, a dessert cup that was sent to me, and it's pretty exciting to try because uh, this is the exact one that Fiona does use, um, Fiona Art, if you haven't seen her, I just, I, I meant to put her in my description box too, but honestly, she needs no introduction, most people know Fiona Art on YouTube. If you haven't seen her, you have to check her out. This is just a golden turquoise. And then that uh, beautiful, beautiful jacquard color. I don't know, it's like a peacock color with green sparkles and a blue undertone. It's so, so pretty. I feel like we need some kind of pop of color in here somewhere too. I should get some sort of commission on what? Just curious. Golden, probably.
I know I'm going painstakingly slow here, but I just want to. So just bear with me, okay? Just, just, I just really want to go slow. Although it's so cold in here, I'm literally thinking of standing up and turning the heat on because I'm shivering. Starting to shiver. And then let's try this pretty, pretty one. I'm also quite shaky today. Okay, so now I think what she does, I don't know this perfectly, but... Oh, Cheryl, thank you so much. She blows. But I'm going to use my airbrush because... So then what happens next is I think Fiona takes this and uh, she turns it. Like a quarter turn or something. Oh my gosh, I already... Like this. <laughs> I don't even know. But, and then she, and then a few more. If you guys like these lives and you like these um, videos, please support the channel. It would be wonderful. You can do that by doing a donation, a super chat donation or a PayPal donation. And, or you can go to my Amazon shop and buy me some supplies if there's something specific that you want to see me make. Um, you know, send me something. If there's a color you want me to try, send it to me and I'll, you know, a little note. You can always contact me too by email if you're like, hey, I want you to do this. I try to take special requests all the time. And I know one of the things I got requested, Carrie asked me to do another pillow cell. Um, Remember the pillow cells? Last year at this time I did them, and I just haven't quite got that, I kind of gave up on that technique because I could never get it to come out every single time, so I hate t trying to teach a technique that I really haven't mastered in some way. Um, okay, I think one more, I don't know, this just looks like it's going to do nothing. But I guess we'll just see, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna try. I don't know. I'm gonna try this and see. Uh, the next thing is. Um, To blow this down again. Is the focus blurry for you guys? It looks pretty good to me. It might be that you're buffering or something because I'm not getting any weird um, focus issues. Sorry, Patricia. I'm watching on another um, device and I'm getting a clear picture. Hi, Brian. All right, so we have the napkin here. 
and we have the dessert napkin here. So what we're going to do is pick this cup up. Oh, it's really pretty in the center. I think she washes these off right away, which is what I should probably have done. Oops. Doris, why are you apologizing? You have to do your job. Okay. So I'm just going to wipe this off a little bit. Okay. Now I think the, the next thing is what the little lines where are those little things a skewer or something of course I thought I had one right here huh. I don't know I don't have a skewer this already looks bizarre like it's falling in all these weird places I don't know why. Maybe my paints might be too thin today. That's okay. Maybe it's because I blew with um, my airbrush. And that could definitely be part of it. but that's okay. Yeah, Fiona turns the cup all the time. I don't know what you're talking about, Carrie. Yeah, she does. She always turns the cup. That's the one thing I know she does do. I've watched a lot of her videos. sprayed with water. Damp. I forgot. That's, a, that's another thing. Damp. Not damp, but at least lightly sprayed with water. I don't think I'm going to get those cells. I think the thing that causes her to get those beautiful cells is that acrylic binder that she uses. And I just I haven't found anything like that in the America. So I don't know. But... We're going to get the Heather Mater art flower here. Why is your heart racing? <laughs> Are you drinking too much tea, Jan? <laughs> that was funny. I know you say the cells and lacings come from the Vallejo Pearl Medium, but I've actually used the Vallejo Pearl Medium before. And it doesn't give the same exact results. She, that binder, that acrylic binder she uses, I did a collab with her a long time ago, and we talked about that binder. I tried everything to get something in America that was similar, and there was really nothing that was similar to that. I don't know. I'm sure other people have figured it out. I don't spend a lot of time doing these flowers, actually, so 
I don't know why I'm talking like I'm an expert here. Uh, Marcia, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. why like after all that work sometimes I think was that worth it it is pretty thank you Marcia I really appreciate that I do my best I really do I may not always be good enough but it's definitely my best now just a little bit. It's very pretty. You guys, that, that um, blue-green color by the Jacquard is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I can't even explain how pretty that is. Oh, Marsha, Marsha Leopold. Okay, Marsha, thank you. Yeah, I did try to do just a little tiny twist at the end. You can see it right there. This is really a lot harder than you think, these flowers. Okay, so what that means is my, these fingers that you see is because my base coat must be thicker than my actual paints. So it's like preventing it from going. That's crazy. It is the colors though. I wish you guys could see how shiny it is. I don't know. It's a little blurry for some reason. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, it doesn't help at all. Huh. Well, I would probably cover this up, you know, truthfully. Scrape it off. Um, I would probably redip it. Do, you know, something else. I don't know. But it's not my favorite. You shouldn't be scared to try it because just playing around, you know? Just a little paint. But the worst thing that happens is you don't like the way it turns out. You scrape it off, do something else, right? can save things. Sometimes not. My balloon today is super big. I'm not used to that. to create like now I'm just trying to see like can I actually create some kind of composition that's you know speaks to me more than what was going on there I'm not um, the greatest at the flower dips I just I've tried so many times this is probably oh god I don't know 15 20 times and I just don't seem to have the hang of it. 
That would be fun to put a little color pop right in the center there, wouldn't it, though? I'm trying to see what color, I'm trying to think of what color I could put. Let's pull out the high flows and see. We could do some copper, some gold, or we could try one of the colors, too. Let me see what colors we have in here, so many. You just go with something like totally crazy, like per permanent violet dark, or dioxazine purple, magenta, be pretty. Cause creations in the house. Yellow would be pretty too, that's for sure. I must be in a cool color mood. I think my next painting is going to have some yellow in it for sure, though. So the thing about these high flow is they will dendrite if the base coat is thin enough. I did this whole series uh, with these really pretty flowers um, using high flow, and that was really fun. You can see it, it's already starting. So some of these paints, like especially, remember how I said my base coat was thicker? So look at the red. I'm already starting to get a little tiny bit of uh, dendrites right here. But I'm gonna just real quick before they totally, so they still have maybe a chance to do it. I'm just gonna give a little kiss to this. like you now they won't dendrite right here because I'm almost down to like the bare canvas so I was just curious to see what they were gonna do oh. now you could see where this would be um, a, an opportunity to embellish afterwards and you can almost like turn this into like an iris it looks like that's what it looks like to me right here Look, little iris. Doesn't that look like an iris? I love that. Or an orchid, yeah. <laughs> kind of like an iris because this is down and then these two coming in. But I think that's really pretty. Almost would like to cover up this part. Hello, Lido's mom. That is adorable. <laughs> who, who said that? Sharon, <laughs> that is so cute. I know, I love that dog. That dog is so cute. And I like the black dog that stares at you too, Kaz. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. She has like this black dog that's like staring at her all day for a week. I love this little iris thing and I'm going to actually leave it because I think it'll be so pretty when it dries and I probably will be able to uh, maybe do a tiny bit of embellishment in here I don't know but I'm going to add just to the edge of this just a little bit more paint to kind of create a nice border of white all the way around here, or pearl, this is actually pearl. Ah, so you guys see, this is what I do. Like, I start out doing something, but I can never finish doing it exactly, because because I'm me. But still, I'm pretty happy, I like this little, and I wish I could find a skewer, that would be like an amazing, a 
amazing thing, but I think I only had like two, and I may have just gotten rid of them or something. I don't know. I'm just going to create this little Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. This one is done. I think we'll just start with that and then and then I might be able to embellish later. These parts will um, just even out, I think, as the flow troll does its job. Put a little bit more right here, actually. And I want to cover up this little part too, because that's actually pretty dry canvas right there. I think this is a pretty little painting. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Hi, Tammy. Okay. One down. At least one more to go because I need. I want. I want to do one more painting at least. Um, And honestly, a little bit of yellow right here. Now that I look at this, I'm going to do what Cause said and put a little drop, just one drop of this yellow high flow in the center. And I think it might act as the stamen or like the center of the flower. I want to see what will happen. Um, I think yeah the paint is thin enough that I think we'll end up like in a short time with a beautiful dendrite right there if I if I shook it up enough because I'm actually not feeling confident that I did now that I look at that Sometimes you just need to walk away. I'm going to help it a little bit. A skewer would have been amazing right now. Honestly, this is ridiculous. Oh yeah, these little tiny fractals are coming out. I don't think you can even see it on camera. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty though. Little teeny tiny fractals. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let me see. Let me put... I'm going to find one drop of white. I know I have white um, high flow, but it's the one I use the most, so unfortunately. Do I have toothpicks? Yeah, wouldn't that be amazing if I had all the tools right here, but you know how it is. Like somewhere is a toothpick in my studio. At some point there's a toothpick, you know what I mean? Do I actually have one right now? I don't, I don't know. Oh, this is so cute. I'm going to hold it up to the camera here in just one second. Nope, I'm going to use pearl. I'm going to use, whoops, I almost dropped the white on there, but 
honestly, the pearl is going to look really cute. I know, Brian. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, I don't need any water. This is so doing what I want it to do that I'm scared to even add this pearl. I'm going to put it on the end of my... Oh. Hang on, wait. I'm going to put it on the end of my stick here. Well, come on you. First I'm going to show you guys so you can actually see it closer. Can you see the little dendrites? Is that so cool? Isn't that amazing? I love it. All right, now I'm going to just put that one little drop of pearl if I can get this open. It's like stuck shut or whatever. Hi, Kate. I'm glad you made it. She says, oh, hello, beautiful. So the dendrites are from the use of high flow because high flow tends to dendrite and it is probably the thinness, but it's also the formula because really thin paint doesn't necessarily dendrite. I can tell you that. I, if you guys look, I have a whole huge playlist of high flow. It was kind of like my thing when I first started and I did a lot of experimentation. Oh my gosh, come on. I think this is just blocked. I'm going to have to open it up. Oh, it is. I just did a lot of experimentation with the high flow when I first started. And so you'll be able to see, you should be able to see like a whole playlist and a whole bunch of uh, things that I've done. Type in high flow, Heather Mater Art on the search function. Um, or fractal, Heather made her fractal. I did a lot of Heather made her dendrite. Those are the search terms, and you will find a lot of videos I did because I kind of love high flow. But you know, there's only so many ways that you can use it. And then the next one I'm going to do, I've just had this one painting in mind that I did a long time ago. All right, I'm going to add this little tiny drop of high flow right in the center because it's just a little too yellow right in the center. Okay, now that will fractal over the top of this yellow. And then thank you, Cause Creations, for the yellow um, suggestion for those of you I want you to see. If you can see. How pretty. All right, let me go put it away. to just keep going and going and going and going. <laughs> Thank you. Now, the thing about black is... All right, this next painting in my mind is going to be a play with some play with um, with some primary colors but I, I do need some base coats down so let's see how do I want to do this
Kate, thank you so much for the donation. I really, really, really appreciate it. This is an Arteza black canvas. I actually love Arteza's canvases. I find them to be just a tiny bit superior than the ones you can get at like Michael's, but um, yeah, I do really like, I'm, I'm debating right now on doing a longer canvas. Oh, let's see, what am I gonna do? All right, so we, I want to, it's, it's stupid to, that I have a black canvas, but honestly, I'm going to paint it white. <laughs> Not white, but silver. And the thing is, I just don't have a white canvas that size. I don't have, I'm kind of running low on some smaller um, canvases. So it's too bad that this is what's happening, but because there are ways to make a black canvas work for you. Um instead of just covering it up with a light color, but I don't know, this is what I'm doing, so. I really love, Hobby Lobby makes these little eight by 16 canvases, and it's, they're one of my favorite sizes, but it just seems like they're hardly ever, they're always out of stock. I like to buy them when they're on special, of course. Yeah, they have a tighter drum to them. You're right, absolutely. They have a tighter feel to them for sure, and the finish, the back seems more finished. I think I think you're absolutely right. It's kind of the feeling I get with the Arteza canvases. Oh no, of course this is dead. I'm gonna just fill my thing up really quick. And we're back in business. There's a lot of air bubbles with this one. So it seems like what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a swipe with primary colors and I'm going to try to transition them um, across here from warm to cool. This is just my idea because I did a painting like this once and I just love the outcome of it and I, um, I just wanted to see if I could do something like it again. This is just a pearl base paint I mix with Floetrol, Sargent, um, the Sargent Art Pearl Medium. I love the Hobby Mask Touch canvases um, and their round ones are really nice and I really have never ever had an issue um, with those. so. Probably my favorite all-time canvases, all-time, all-time favorites are The Edge, and I buy them online. Um, I don't know, they're in my store, you can see. Those are my all-time favorite canvases. I love the way they're finished, and they're really nice. So I've been thinking about next week, next week's live, which would be the Friday after Thanksgiving. Try to get a feel for whether or not that's a good time for people. I know that, you know, across the board, people are doing less holiday stuff than normal. So maybe it would be nice to have a little live and be able to come and sit and, you know, have a little socialization after the holiday or whatever, but I don't know, maybe people might have family over or still doing family stuff and I don't know, I'm working a lot.
I'm just trying to get like a smooth base coat on here. There's just no rushing this really. Marsha, do I think what must be done in black? I'm just curious. What are you talking about? Hey, you guys make sure you're in live chat because sometimes I'll hear people asking or answering or talking about questions that are like, you know, that we've, we talked about like five minutes earlier or something or a while earlier. So it might be that you're not in live chat mode. There's top chat and live chat and you got to make sure you're in live chat mode. And top chat just shows the people who comment the most. Um, live chat shows you'll be right in time with me. So it's a good, it's a good thing to do. All right, let's see what we can do with this canvas. Now I'm going to be swiping with high flow, and I think I'm going to use a couple of regular paints to just to create some depth as well. One of the ones I know I really want to use is that is this pretty color by Jacquard. Um, but this, this is alizarin crimson. And I want a lot of red on one side of this canvas. So I'm just going to help this out here with that. And then... To be honest, I can't remember how I made that painting. Like, there's no part of me that actually remembers what I did. <laughs> so, it's highly possible that um, it won't come anything out like it. But you all haven't, you guys haven't seen that painting, so you have no idea anyway. So, that's, that's the beauty of this whole project right here. That nobody knows but me how it was. we can do this and it ends up being something at some point still kind of like half amazed I think at times thank you so much hi Selena Now, one thing that's happening right away is this pearl is kind of leaving that little ghost image in here. So I don't know if it, the paints are leaving a ghost image in that pearl. So it might actually be that my paints are too thin to accomplish what I was trying to accomplish. So I really, I'm not actually sure if this is going to work. Maybe I should try some gold too. Now I'll use gold high flow. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I know that green, right? No. Now the flow troll, um, Jonelle, are you in live chat mode? Because you're talking about something that I did quite some time ago. Um, but if you are asking again, the high flow I did not mix with the flow troll. Uh, as I explained, I will let you know that I, I mix golden fluids with the flow trawl, and that's all that you see here. Anytime I use a high flow, it's actually straight out of the bottle, just like this, because you don't want to mix them with the with a pouring medium. They just 
they're just too, in my opinion, I think they're just too expensive for that. And um, it just wastes them. I, I don't know, like, you can buy the fluids that are just as pigmented and, and not waste. And I very rarely do this either, but I want to swipe all the way through, all the way down. And I'm just using a dry paper towel. I really am wishing I wouldn't have put the black on there. But, oh well. Okay, so now we have just kind of like a rainbowy swipe. And now I'm going to take the high flow, and you're going to see. This is actually a good test because you can kind of see how this looks with just a swipe, a regular, with regular paint. This is Floetrol. And then I'm going to use the high flow and you're going to see how the difference and it makes these really amazingly beautiful patterns. Well, let's do some red on here first just to deepen this red. Sorry, you guys, these paints haven't been used for, I swear, it's been like eight, ten months or longer. So I'm definitely getting some. Definitely being a little challenged to open some of these up. So that was the Nap, nap Fall Red Lights. And then. I'm going to put a little bit of the yellow here, going down, and blue. I was going to try to see if I could find no, I have a lot of the transparent red oxide and then yellow ochre might be a nice little wow have I ever even used that I think it's still closed Burnt sienna. Hmm. Hmm. Here it is. This is one. Quinacridone nickel azo gold. I'm getting all kinds of crazy cells over here on this swipe, and I didn't use any silicone either. I just. I wanted to find a specific blue, but we're just we'll just do this one. And then I'm going to take pearl. I know this looks like a, just kind of like a mess right now, but mm -hmm. I might be crazy, or it might turn out really cool. Awesome. 
This is my bad country right now. I'm, I'm doing some bad country. Oh, I hate that this bottle is not working for me. It's very frustrating. I'm finding it quite frustrating right now. I know Canadians don't get the amazing deals that we get. They just, it's really sad for Canadians. Now, that went all the way down to the canvas, which was not my intention. And this painting. All right, I'm sorry, I have to do this. I'm just going to do this right here, right now, because it is not doing what I want. This is kind of wasteful because I really don't need this much, but I can't get this to come out here, so this is literally what we're going to do. You guys, the commission, okay, I, I have a really, I do have some exciting news, actually. Ah. The commission that I did, that giant, giant commission, the giant painting I did, and I showed you little clips of it here and there, it finally got to the client, and she's so in love with it. And the cool part is, I did a video on every step of that process, and it was a long painting, and it was challenging, and it's basically a three foot by four foot dip. <laughs> and then embellishments, and there was an underpainting to it, and, um, anyway, so I can't wait to show you, and, and the cool part is the, the video is going to be called, you know, how to do a commission, so it's going to really help if you've never done one and want to know from, like, start to finish on how to, um, how I do a commission or whatever. Then it'll be a fun video, and that's going to come out next week. It's almost halfway done right now. You know, so this is not turning out the way that I had hoped. Uh, it is fun to play around with it. It is not doing the thing that I had hoped it would do. But, like I said, it's been a year, and I couldn't really remember. I looked at photographs of that painting and tried to remember how I did it, and I don't think I had a good full memory. So probably what we'll end up doing is, just like every other painting I do, we'll figure out something else to do with it, since it's not working out the way I hoped. I don't sell paint, but um, <laughs> look at I'm just taking it all off with that dry paper towel all the way down. <laughs> to, to the studs, <laughs> so to speak. All right. And actually, there's a part of this that is going to look really cool. Um, yeah, I don't sell paint, but I do definitely need to, um, I do rely on, like, donations, and I do rely on, I have to sell my paintings. Um, I do have to have a YouTube channel to keep painting. I do have to teach. I do have to work a second job. <laughs> I mean... All that is true. You know, all that all that is required in order for me to keep painting. It is an expensive hobby. 
there's no doubt about it. Some people, you know, have the means to afford it, but I... Yeah, sorry for those of you who have a bad connection. I don't know what's going on. I really don't, and I'm very sorry. I seem to have a bad, a really bad luck right now with my pearl. It's just not doing what it's supposed to be, and I cannot get it out. I guess I should have went through and opened up all these before beforehand. Now I'm just playing around, honestly. The truth is for me, there's no way I could keep painting unless I sold my art. So it may not be, but you know, and then one of the ways to sell it is to get in front of people and I don't know if, you know, I'm partially a dis partially disabled person, so I was never able to just go and do the whole, um, you know, art show thing. That was never going to be me. This is like me trying to save this, the parts that I like on this painting and seeing if I can save them. That's what's happening right here. So just so you know. Cheryl, I don't know what you want me to do. Um, yeah, I think it's a YouTube issue because my, I'm not having any issues and I'm actually looking on another, um, I know it happened when I went to watch Tisha's live last week. I, it was out of focus, but all my camera and equipment and everything that I'm doing is the same as it always has been. So I don't think it's a me issue. I just really wanted to show you how this high flow swipes, but honestly, I think my paints are too thin. And one of the things I remember, it's like coming back to me now. I think I had regular paints and then I did a high flow swipe over the top of those. It's still so pretty, like the pearl part of this is so pretty still. And I'm going to do one more little thing to see if I can save this painting. And then if it doesn't, if I can't get it to, if I can't save it, I'm going to add some high flow copper. Hey, Rocket Sauce. Patricia said she left, turned her phone off, came back, and it was fine. So maybe exit out of the video and come back in. I'm going to do this, which is something I really don't. one thing if you don't use these very often they are they can be a challenge to be uh, 
when you revisit them. This is a high flow balloon roll right here with a little bit of my normal white that I use. I'm just going to see what it does. It does need... Now that's more of the, um, the effect that I was actually going for earlier. But you know, it, it, it almost does need some contrast. I can see it's just all thin. So I think working with thin paints is such a challenge, you guys. I know I, I always use really he uh, thick paints, and people ask me why. This is partially why, because I just find thin, pa thin paints, it's really hard to control. Um, it just feels like, I don't know, it's just, it's, it, they're a challenge, ch very challenging to control. But you can also get some really beautifully like watery effects too. Aw, Jan, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Many blessings to you. I hope you feel better soon. Let's add some black. Like was suggested earlier to add a little bit of black. Kate, thank you so much. I think I had said Thank you to Kate earlier, but I can't thank you guys enough anyway, so thank you all for those of you who support and donate and all that to keep these lives coming to you and these videos, and don't forget tomorrow, if you're just now joining, don't forget tomorrow, tomorrow morning, the really cool collaboration with AB Creative, and this is her first collaboration ever too. She's never collabed with anyone before because she's such a new channel, but man, she's just, she's doing amazing. You know, those of us who have channels, that have had channels forever and um, don't have that many subscribers, um, for she's just doing crazy good. And her videos are really, she's a great teacher. Like I really, I was like, oh, she's very easy to understand. And her videos, I guess her son is like um, an editor, like a movie editor or something, a film editor. So he edits all of her videos, so they're really beautifully edited. And uh, she has a great sense of style. She's in London. Yep, AB Creative and me doing a collab tomorrow morning. 9 a.m. Oh no. This is getting to be a very interesting painting. <laughs> I have not given up yet, but uh, I'm very close to it. I feel very, 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 very close to scraping this mother off. I really do. It's, it's uh, just about wearing on my last nerve. But you know, like, sometimes at the very end, you can like pull something out that is beautiful. Gina, I, I, I learn a lot of stuff from YouTube. Not just the artist, but man, have you ever just needed to like fix something in your house or um, learn how to edit a video or like pretty much every single thing. You can almost learn everything off YouTube. Now I'm getting some muddy results now in the center here like I need to stop. So I'm going to do like two more balloon rolls. Um, <laughs> Brian. He's like, don't stop, just keep going. I'm going to do a few more balloon rolls just to get a little bit more black. And I'm just putting black on my balloon now. And there's just a few places that I think need some definition. And if it doesn't happen, I'm going to stop, though. And I don't know, maybe scrape. It is pretty. It's pretty. But boy, I had to work for this one. The thing is, is all that high flow on there, you guys, 
High Flow is like the shiniest, most iridescent, uh, the High Flow Pearl, the High Flow Copper. They are the shiniest, most iridescent paints. When they dry, they're unlike any other paint. They're, um, they're shinier. Uh, the only thing I've seen that's dried almost like them is that Prism Pour by that Leslie Onstead's Prism Pour. It's very shiny too, but even that, like, I haven't had anything compared to the High Flow Pearl, the High Flow Copper, or the High Flow Gold by Golden. All right. This is it. Oh, look at it. I don't know why it went better when I went in opposite direction. I have no idea why that just happened. Yeah, so now I have that crazy flower right there. It makes me want to do one on the other side. Okay. Now all of a sudden I love this painting. So this is how this happens for me almost all the time, you guys. I do not know why, but sometimes there's just like one or two compositional things. That right there cannot stay the way it is. So um, it's literally down to the canvas. So I'm going to have to put a little bit of color back in there. And we're going to do the, let's do the red and a little bit of yellow maybe and some white. Oh, look. Huh. It's pretty. Okay. Well, if people are having trouble with the camera not focusing and stuff, then we don't, I don't want to bore anybody. Um, hopefully you can see this. And I actually think there's a lot going on here that's really pretty. Um, there's a lot of depth and a lot of crazy color combinations that it will work when it's dried, I think. Yeah. That's an interesting one. And the thing is, is like all of the, there's a lot of little things that are going to pop out as it dries too. Um, like this copper over here, like I said, the pearl. I see beautiful little dendrites, pearl dendrites all along this edge. Um, all along this edge right here is just pearl. That's just going to be so shiny and really pretty when it dries. So who knows, this might be just be one of my absolute favorite paintings when everything is said and done. Um, I'll show you next week when it dries and, and we'll see. <laughs> Brian, Brian says send it to me. Um, well, I think I'm going to say goodbye tonight. I, I'm not sure about next Friday after the holiday. Um, I will keep you informed. One way you can stay informed is by being part of my Facebook uh, page, which is Heather Mater Art. I post every single week or on fa uh, Instagram. And uh, that's how you know what's going on. And you can uh, know whether or not to show up. Otherwise, just try Friday 5 uh, live Pacific Standard Time every single Friday in general. So uh, I appreciate each and every one of you uh, who came. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a great holiday. <laughs> yeah, what would you do without me? You guys would probably be watching a show. Like, I'll tell you the show that I watch lately that I really like 
It's how to get away with murder. Man, that one is, uh, it is hard to stop watching that show. It's really, really, really good. Oh, Joe, I'm sorry. Well, I will see you guys all next time, and thank you to my moderators for doing such a great job. Much love to you all. Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Queen's Gambit. Okay, I'll check that one out, too. I don't have a lot of time, but a lot of times I'll just do some art, like some doodling while a show is playing, too, so... I can't wait to show you how this little orchid turned out next week, too. Yeah. Bye, guys.